Dungeons and Dragons, or D&D for short. Do you play it? Um, my friend brings D&D in uh, every Wednesday and we just sit there playing our own little version. Sounds like fun, but what is it? It's a little bit like a board game mixed with drama class, so you play a character, you just need a pen and paper and some dice, and you can go from there. Where does it come from? In the 80s and 90s, everyone was, parents were terrified of Dungeons and Dragons because it was this scary thing that they didn't understand and it's got about wizards and monsters and, and uh, magical spells. Do you think parents are aware that when the children play the game that demon spirits are involved? Shadow demon, see that they are captured and bring them to me. So why are kids playing a game from the 80s? I think in the last few years there's certainly been a trend of coming back to these more traditional games. Dungeons and Dragons has been in a lot of films and TV shows recently, so everyone's kind of talking about it and thinking about it. The Demogorgon! Oh. Jamie specialises in running D&D &D sessions for kids with additional needs. But what are additional needs and how is D&D &D helpful? Um, additional needs can take lots of forms. This so might be that someone uh, is in a wheelchair. Sometimes people with additional needs find it hard to socialise uh, and something like, like this brings to them, gives them a chance to come along uh, and make some new friends. His lessons are fun and he's a mate, an amazing GM. But then came the coronavirus. How would our heroes overcome this new villain? So you can play Dungeons and Dragons online with your friends and you can use what's called a virtual tabletop and a lot of those are free to use uh, and you can go on, on Discord or on Skype and chat to your mates. Phew! If you're bored and stuck at home during lockdown, maybe give D&D &D a go.